Let's learn how to make an isometric cubed 3D text effect using Kittle. So the first thing we're going to do is build ourselves a little grid. Now you could do this without building yourself a grid. You could even just turn on our own grid lines using the settings panel up in the top right. But I think using a box like this and skewing it by holding the shift key, so skewing it up or down, holding the shift key, will give us a better representation and then it gives us a grid, a full uh, kind of lifelike grid for us to fill in our uh, text with. So now I've duplicated it, I just flipped it around, so now you can start seeing the 3D box coming together here. And what we wanna do is group that together, which you can do with Command G or Control G, and then for the top, we're gonna put a diamond right here. So we're gonna fill in the box again, we're creating our template that we are going to put our text over to make sure that we make the best representation possible for this isometric 3D lettering. So I'm just going to move this across here. You can hold Alt, by the way, to scale it perfectly across both ways. And you can do the same thing for the vertical here. And so once we get this to where it needs to be, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. There can be a little bit of space left there. There could be a little bit of gap there in between each. Because again, we're going to line text up right here. What we're going to do is we're going to select all of it here. And then we are going to make it a lighter so that it doesn't distract us because again this is just our template this is just our grid for the back so now let's add some text which you can do with T you can hit the T button and we're gonna go with the letter B okay I'm gonna show you how to do this with other letters layer later we also have a really nice very sharp blocky font right here I'm gonna turn the weight up right here on this one and then this is gonna be perfect for our isometric style uh, 3d cube uh, right here so let's go ahead and put this right here and I'm going to show you how to do this with the distort transformation so now I've distorted it and yeah you have all of these little anchor points you can move around so I'm just going to line these up very easily with the corners of the grid that we've made with the template that we've made here in the background again I'm going to make sure that they all line up with the corners so now I'm going to go to the far right line it up down here with the bottom and then don't forget the middle one we need to make sure that the middle one is also lined up correctly so click and drag that and make sure the handles there are as straight as possible again probably doesn't need to be super perfect but you get the idea we want to make sure that it is as clean as possible so I'm just going to replicate this process you can duplicate by holding the alter option key and dragging or command C or control C and V and then I'm going to do the same thing up here up top okay so now we have three letter B's that are now filling all of the space of our template in the back now let's select some color. So once we feel good about it, we can start making some color choices here. I've already included a palette that I want to use with this really nice kind of bright but still muted uh, pastel pink and green. I really like these. And so what we need to do is go and delete our background. Okay, so we need to delete the template that's there in the back because we don't need it anymore. And so now let's choose a different color background uh, so that it's a little bit easier to see than on the white. So that's really nice. So now what we want to do is, you, again, you can cr group with Command G. And I'm going to show you how to duplicate this and make a really cool effect. So now, boom, I've duplicated it with Alter, Option, and Drag. And now what we're going to do is go in here and change the letter. So we can easily just go into each one and change the letter. So I'm going to make this O. And then for the last one, we'll do X. And so now what I'm going to do with this one, again duplicate it put it down and so you can see here it's making a really really cool kind of steps effect you can see these 3d blocks really easily now so now I'm gonna make this one say X so we're gonna spell out box here so just do the last one right here and this is really really cool now what's even cooler is that we can just select all of these and I can just choose a different font if I want and boom it applies to all of them so this is super easy to do in Kittle now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.